Hello, I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here with Matt Mayer as we discuss a silly boy in Jack Grealish. This isn't look, doesn't look very good, does it, Matt? It doesn't look particularly good. Very pixelated. Sorry, in general, the, uh, in general, the uh, yeah, the picture doesn't look good. It's it's not really what you what you want to see, is it? Um, fairly. Uh, you know, ill-advised, clearly a, a young man out enjoying himself, but obviously a young man that's in the private eye and, and probably, well, if he didn't know that already, he's, he's learning it the hard way. Yeah, absolutely, and, and I wouldn't want to be him coming back to Tim Sherwood. No, well, he's already been caught out before, hasn't he, with the, the laughing ass thing, and, and Sherwood, you know, kind of, I think on that occasion it was a case of, look, you've been a silly boy, but, you know, look, you're new to all this. This is this you've got to get used to it, and I think now this is kind of this be maybe a harder line mm. from the club, perhaps a fine. I mean, um, you know, he, he needs talking to. I mean, it's it's a difficult one because, as we said, he's not the first young man, that's 19 year old, to go out and, and have a few beers with his mates. But he's not going to be the last either, is he? He's not going to be the last. But these young lads now, footballers, have got to learn that people are out there. You know, or say people are out there. The, the technology now. This incident ten years ago doesn't go anywhere. Now it's all around the world within seconds. I think, you know, speaking from a, from a particular personal view, is that it raises a lot of questions about the kind of people that would would do this and not actually check that he's that he's all right. I mean, he's lying on his back in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. um, do you not think you might actually go and alert the or you know make sure he's all right? We don't know if they did that or not, but. Um, but you know they've got to realise that these lads that they are they are targets, and there are going to be people out there who, who think they can make a, a quick book um, out of you know out of using them. And, and you know it sounds a cliche, but they've almost got to live like like monks. And while you know it's it's sad in a way, you know, for the privilege of what they do and, and the money they earn, that is afraid the way the way it's going because it is a. It's a story, and uh, you know they are, you know, in the public eye, and they've they've got to learn that. And like you say, you know, back in the class of '92, for it, for example, with Scholes yeah. and Beckham, I mean, they got up to all sorts, but obviously it wasn't as reported uh, as much as it is today. I think you know, if you, I mean, we speak to a lot of you know um, veteran players and uh, people who played the game 20, 30 years ago, and some of the stories, well, we can't <laughs> you can't report no. them, but I mean, the, you know, some of the stories you hear, you know, uh, uh, are you know both. Shocking and hilarious mm. at the same time, but I mean, this is um, you know, th this is it's a new age now uh, where you know technology means that you know the world has become a lot smaller. And uh, lads like, like Jack Grealish, like I say, not the first, won't be the last. They've got to realise that they've got to they've got to watch whatever they do. Um, I mean, he's going to have to choose his friends wisely as well. I think something from Gary Neville last week when he said, you know, he almost consciously. Uh, split up from the, the friends that he did growing up because he knew it wouldn't be good for him as a, as a professional mm, mm. but he needed to kind of get away and mm -hmm. you know just kind of almost live that kind of professional life and it's something that they've got to learn I mean there's going to be a lot of hysteria over this a lot of panic uh, you know I think I fall somewhere in between when I think sure. well you know you, this isn't good this doesn't look good and you know the club needs to you know need to tell him that and make him aware and he's got to learn but at the same time there's an element of sympathy where, whereas you know you're kind of living in that kind of public eye but at the same time you're getting the, a lot of money and, and the privilege of playing you know top level football and yeah I think I think a lot of the comments that have come in have basically yeah. said you know just defending him just saying let him be a young yeah, lad yeah. you know which you can understand but at the same time you know he's a role model a lot of people do look up yeah. to him and if you're if you're a mother or a father and you know they've got greenish on the back and it's yeah. you eight year old kid and you, and you see this it, it doesn't look good does it no it doesn't and you know kind of uh, there's a lot of, of things now you, in the news about uh, binge drinking and issues with drinking in this co country and the health issues it's causing for for kids and whether you know whatever your personal view on that this this kind of this kind of thing doesn't help does it I mean it's uh, you know like you say lads like Grealish are, are there as, as role models whether they, whether they like it or not I mean you know you can't say well I want to be a, a good role model you are a role model kids are already looking up to this lad you know and, and he's already in that position and he, he's got to learn that and he does have uh, a responsibility to act properly and you know conduct himself in the in the right way and if he's going to go and get you know plastered <laughs> do it behind closed doors <laughs> to a certain extent.